Hauntons through the ages, from family fun to hearty breakfasts, from Captain Croc to routine discrimination. Welcome to Pontons. Unless, that is, your name was on a blacklist of Irish and Irish travellers' surnames. Not specific people or families, a list of just surnames under the title Undesirable Guests. The list, first seen by the Eye newspaper, was uploaded to the Pontons' intranet, instructing call handlers taking holiday bookings that people with those surnames were, quote, unwelcome. An investigation by the Equality and Human Rights Commission found that the company had used the list as part of a system of routine discrimination against gypsy and traveller families. And so to the list itself. It's headed undesirable guests. Then there's a cartoon of Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings above the caption, you will not pass. It goes on to say, we've been informed by our operations director that we do not want these guests on our parks. Please watch out for the following names for any future bookings, it says. It then lists 40 names. I won't read out all of those surnames, but important to read out quite a few, which basically boils down to a roll call of discrimination. Boylan, Boyle, Carney, Carr, Cash, Connors, Delaney, Doherty, Doran, Gallagher, McDonough, McGinley, McGinn, McGuinness, Murphy, Nolan, O'Connell, O'Reilly, O'Brien. The fact that they're even using a list like this um, is just shocking beyond belief. But yeah, it, it, it happens all the time. And we talk about, you know, I think it was Trevor Phillips that coined the phrase, um, the last bastion of acceptable racism. Well, we have it here in black and white. Um, absolutely disgraceful. A whistleblower alerted the Equality and Human Rights Commission to the blacklist. The Britannia Jinky Jersey Company, which owns Pontons, has acknowledged that the practice was not acceptable and has signed a legally binding agreement with the Equality Watchdog to address the issues raised. One of the main things is to conduct an internal investigation into this list of undesirable guests, how that was allowed to happen. Uh, and ensure appropriate action is taken on the back of that and that they learn lessons from this incident. Um, we want them to provide training uh, on the law, equality law for their staff. The watchdog also pointed out that the affair harked back to another time decades ago when no blacks, no Irish signs appeared on hotel windows in Britain. For Channel 4 News at Pontins Western Supermare, Porrick O'Brien.